Hello and welcome to EG Math. We will solve question number 59 of OG Verbal 2nd Edition by using EG Math 3 step process. In the first step, we will understand the meaning of the sentence. In the second, we will evaluate the errors in the sentence. And finally, we will review all the answer choices to get to the correct answer. So let's begin. Certain pesticides can become ineffective if used repeatedly in the same place. One reason is suggested by the finding that there are much larger populations of pesticide degrading microbes in soils with a relatively long history of pesticide use than in soils that are free of such chemicals. Now this sentence presents a few facts. It says that certain pesticides can become ineffective if they are used repeatedly in the same spot. One reason why this happens is suggested by a finding. Per this finding, soils with a relatively long history of pesticide use have much larger population of pesticide degrading microbes than soils where these chemicals have never been used. Now let us evaluate the errors by splitting this sentence into its clauses. So here comes the first clause. Certain pesticides can become ineffective if used repeatedly in the same place. Here pesticides is the subject and can become is the verb. After semicolon, we have a subject verb pair, which means we have a clause here that reads one reason is suggested by the finding. Here one reason is the subject and is suggested is the verb. Presence of that brings us to another clause that reads that there are much larger populations of pesticide degrading microbes in soils with a relatively long history of pesticide use than in soils. Here there is the subject and R is the verb. Presence of that brings us to another clause that reads that are free of such chemicals. Here that is the subject and R is the verb. Now all the subject verb pairs in this sentence are accounted for. Pesticides not only make sense with can become but it also agrees in number with the verb. So do all the other subject verb pairs in this sentence. So we do not have any subject verb pair error. Since this sentence provides a general facts about the usage of the pesticides, all the uh, verbs must be written in simple present tense and they are actually written in simple present tense. So we do not have any uh, verb tense error here. There are no pronouns in this sentence. So we do not have any question of pronoun error. There are two modifiers in this uh, sentence. Uh, the first that clause correctly uh, modifies the finding and the second that clause correctly modifies soil. So we do not have any modifier error here. Also, the two entities compared in this sentence are logically as well as grammatically parallel. Well, what are those two entities? In soils with a relatively long history of pesticide use is grammatically as well as logically parallel to in soils that are free of such chemicals. We have no idioms here and this sentence also uh, does not have any meaning error. So uh, the sentence is correct as is, but we will still run the POE to find out why the other ch answer choices are not correct. Well, choice B has a modifier error. Here the phrase, if used repeatedly, modifies one reason instead of pesticides. Now this reference is absolutely nonsensical. So that makes choice B incorrect. Well, choice C repeats the same modifier error as in choice B and this choice also states improper comparison. Now, what's the comparison here? Microbes in soil, whatever, than those that are free of such chemicals. Now, it appears here that microbes are free of such chemicals instead of the soil being free of these chemicals. So this comparison is certainly not correct. So these errors make choice C incorrect. Let's take a look at choice D. Uh, in choice D, placement of the phrase if used repeatedly between two commas makes it ambiguous whether it refers to the preceding clause or it refers to the following clause. So that makes choice D incorrect. In choice E, uh, well, this choice uh, does not state complete finding. It just says that finding of larger population of microbes and it fails to establish 
the entire fact as the reason for pesticides becoming useless if repeatedly used at the same spot so e does not convey the meaning of the sentence properly so that makes choice e incorrect so as we found out during error analysis choice a is the correct answer for this sentence this brings us to the takeaway messages now the modifiers in the sentence must be placed as close to the entities uh, they modify as possible to uh, maintain the clarity in the meaning of the sentence. Also, we must be wary of the answer choices that deviate from the intended meaning of the sentence. The concepts tested in this sentence have been covered in EG MAT concepts level 1 introduction to modifiers, level 1 types of modifiers and level 1 correcting modifiers.